Okay, hey guys. All right, so I found the emails. They were in the trash because I was like fucking super disgusted that night. I was just like, fuck off, bro. Anyways, I'm drinking some Diplomatico rum. One and a half shots. Because two's too many and one's too little. Go for the one and a half. Um, okay. So the first one I got... Okay, so let me reiterate very quickly, and I'll try to do as fast as I can, what happened with this guy. So I walk into my local. It's an Irish bar called Dublin. There's so many Dublin different things in Vancouver. Unimportant. And uh, it's at Marine Gateway. Anyways, whatever. Uh, I know all the bartenders and the staff, and it's, like, pretty dope. And there's, like, a bunch of, like, drunks. It's like Busan. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, the Korean Korean uh, recruiter at my school is from Busan, and we had a very interesting talk. This is something I didn't know. Uh, apparently, Anyang means peace. That's the like meaning behind it. And we started talking about Korean history and stuff like this. And then I said, well, I was at this Seoul War Museum and like I looked at the map and like the war, the country was at war for like just all the time, like almost literally all the time, like 50 years is like the biggest break or something like that. 78 now, I guess. Hmm? 65. Uh, <laughs> or something. <sighs> right. So obviously you're looking at my family crest there. Pretty cool, man. So originally from Ireland, my... My dad did the genealogy and they came over during the famine, one of the many. Uh, I think in the, you know, in the 1800s, there were several famines, right? And they were kind of, I think they were accumulative in nature, probably. I should read more about it, I will. Um, right. So, yeah, that's my crest. It's pretty cool. I kind of like it. It's important to know your heritage and these cool things. Like, imagine like a... I don't know, probably a peasant, not a knight. It wouldn't be a knight. But there might have been a Walsh knight at some point. Probably. Why wouldn't there have been? The Walsh is a very common name, actually. Yeah, they, there were knights, man, with this on their shields and stuff, being like, I'm going to murder you. And everything has significance in crests. That's the interesting part. So, now I don't know the significance of all these. Obviously, you can see the Irish harp there. So, there you go. Um... What is that? Chainmail at the top? So maybe, yeah. Obviously somebody was nobility of some kind at some point. Because if you're a peasant, you don't get a fucking crest made, right? And then let's look at the middle. White and red. Hmm. Think about that for a minute. Three is a very significant number. Think about that. Think about how everything's in threes. Many things are in threes. Not everything. Trouble comes in three, three's a crowd, like, no, those are negative, but why is it always three? Three there, if, you, if you're putting, if you're decorating, you don't put two of something, you always put three, minimum, or one, depending on what the fuck you're doing. But you know, you don't put, you don't put two, you don't put four, usually it's three. There are three controllers. This is so weird. I was talking to my buddy the other night. We just kept talking about whatever, everything that comes in threes. And it's just boggling, mind-boggling. And then you say, well, lots of stuff comes in twos. Okay, fine. Go ahead. But three, there's something special about that. Anyhow, so we got three spears. We got, yeah, is this, uh, what is this? Oh, yes, it is the best last name in the world. Yeah, that's a fact. You better believe it. Um, much better than Mullen or Reed. What is that? Like, a you guys hung by the water and you just grew randomly? <sniffs> Reed, get out of here. <laughs> oh, dear. I said last names. Dang it. I think they're cool. Did I say first names? Damn you, honey tea. Okay, um, those two are cool. Anyways, I don't think they're going to care. Especially if I give them royalties, which I'm totally going to. If I make anything. Uh, okay, two lions. That means we're very, very strong. Shamrock at the top. That's more Irish. And then we got shamrocks and 
Now this is that's the is that the fleur de lis there on all on the outside? I'm not sure. Something very similar, anyways. So maybe they had some kind of alliance with the front a French house, perhaps. Although it doesn't quite look like a fleur de lis. So somebody tell me what the fuck it is. All right. So that's what you're looking at. And okay, so this is a here's a cautionary tale. Um, read the fine print. If the fine print is too much to read, do not purchase that product, even if it's like an iPhone or something. And I can't wait to make a video about the iPhone. Just No, it's the Apple company, but specifically the iPhone as well. Everything, actually. They're garbage. And if you're just like, no, they're not, just fucking do three internet searches. I think I've already said this. This sounds very familiar. Why is Apple a terrible corporation? Or why? how does Apple treat its customers? And you will get a bunch of shit. Class action suits. Doing a bunch of bad shit. Anyways. Uh, okay, so this is what I got to keep the bugs away. Because I didn't want to get a zapper because I didn't really want to kill it. I would just prefer them to repel. I'm like, okay, that looks like a lot of chemicals, but whatever. Butane. I was like, okay. And it was a good price. And then I was reading the safety. And this is what I want to read to you. So this is why you have to read stuff very carefully. Oh, this is it. Well, there it is. Okay. Uh... Okay. I'll read it very quickly, okay? And just, and you'll get the point and then I'll stop. Harmful if inhaled. Avoid breathing vapors for outdoor use. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm getting to the human stuff. There's a bunch of other stuff. Yep. Got it. Okay. Maybe harmful if absorbed through the skin. Avoid contact with the skin and clothing. Wash hands with soap and water after use. Cover exposed food. This is not already not safe. And there's so much more. Um, don't put it near open flames or sparks. Okay, it was butane. That makes sense. But still, what the fuck? What kind of product is this? Do not insert anything. Okay, blah. Yes, that's pretty self-explanatory. This pesticide, this pesticide is highly toxic to fish. So like, fuck, I gotta take this thing to like the CDC or something. Or hazmat, I mean, CDC. Hazmat. Um, don't put it in water, okay? Drift from treated areas may... What? I forgot this bit. May be hazardous to organisms in adjacent aquatic sites. Oh, this kind of thing. First aid. This is the part that I read. I didn't read that first bit, I don't think. If inhaled, move the person to fresh air. If the person is not breathing, call 911 or an ambulance. Then give artificial respiration, preferably by mouth to mouth, if possible. So get the poison on you, I guess. What is that the plan? Call a poison control center or doctor for further tre treatment advice. If swallowed, call a poison control center or doctor immediately for treatment advice. Do not induce vomiting unless told to do so by a poison control center or doctor. Do not give any liquid to the person. Do not give anything by mouth to an unconscious person. What? What about mouth to mouth? You just told me to do that. It's not clear, you idiots. Ah, ginger. If on skin or clothing, take off contaminated clothing. This stuff is like the worst shit ever. Rinse skin immediately with plenty of water for 15 to 20 minutes. Fuck. I'm surprised it didn't say hours, days, months. What, what kind of product is this? It's highly toxic, clearly. Call it poison control. They say poison control way too much to make this a product worth even making. Why would you make this if it has so dangerous? Call a poison control center or doctor for treatment advice. If in the eyes, hold the eyes. Okay, okay I think you get it. Okay, this is what it contains. Toxic. So they lit, I've never seen this before in a box. Toxicological. Tox, uh, toxicological. I can't read that. Toxicological. <laughs> oh, honey tea. Information. Contains petroleum distillate. Somebody tell me what that means. Treat symptomatically. Vomiting may cause aspiration pneumonia. Well, that sounds fun. Don't ha put it near food. Oh my God, there's so many ways to get rid of it. I'm going to return this to the store. And I don't even want my money back. I just want them to dispose of this like safely. What a terrible product. See? 
I should have read it, but I was just kind of like, you know, I just assumed. It, I don't know. I assumed. There you go. I assumed. Don't try not to assume. Uh, okay, so I'm going to cut it there just for a sec because I'm trying to keep them to 10.